Hello everyone, today we will be checking out the clone of vampire survivors, which is Nomad Survival, yeah, creative name, and you can already see that this is already going pretty much broken. And it isn't because it's a normal gameplay, I purposefully b broke it by somehow activating some glitch that uh, throws me at level 1 and the 9 million points are from other games that I played on here in this game. So I played a little bit of this game and it's pretty much mechanic like vampire survivors but all the power-ups are different. These giant blue things coming across the screen are comets. What froze me right now was a chest. I got a damage plus one. And these big swords are from another upgrade. Oh, these two lasers. At level 4 you get second laser and at uh, level maximum you get them constantly spinning. Plus you get the Danmaku of Arrows at max level. Of course you need to add more things. And this time my sword and I were frozen because of the power. The base power of the sign is that you get frozen, get no damage, but the fatal blow. And as you can see I have a thousand level which is max. A crystallized chest has appeared. It should appear somewhere. If you walk around of course. And I did some cutting to make this video shorter because this video would otherwise take one hour to comment on instead of the 20 minutes. And the chest is already showing itself on the bottom right with this arrow and the crystal thingy. You, li uh, you literally can't see a thing. If you move a little bit you already see the enemies dying on bottom right in the direction that you walk forwards to instant death plus there is the um, garlic thing garlic power up just like in the vampire survivors but it's glyph something it's pretty cool upgrade that i of course maxed out and it reaches top and bottom of my screen, respectively. At some point I even broke the game that it slowed down to 0 FPS. <laughs> Somewa, somehow. Oh boy. And yes, I do a post commentary because one hour of video editing wouldn't be as fun to do. Okay. I think I will just see what we got lightning bolt damage plus two. And second upgrade. Spectral bow speed doubled. Let's give it a solid cut here. Zing. And we are at the night area for now. Basically some time passed and second night came in. 
and these giant swords are of course another upgrade that was enhanced by other upgrades uh, uh, doing synchro buff to each other so basically you end up with uh, giant swords coming out of your ass or uh, clown piece than maku spheres rotating around you or even uh, the arrows and since i seem to be frozen here i might just uh, do a little bit of cut and let's go back to the day And as you can see, FPS 14, I already broke the game. And it froze pretty much. And timer slowed down like 1, 2, 3. 3 and a half second in real life is 1 second on the timer. So that's why the recording of 30 minutes was extended to 1 hour. So, I think I remember kind of which upgrade is which. Uh, so on the bottom left, you see these squares, right? Bottommost squares are passive upgrades. Uh, the squares, square row above them are active upgrades. So third from the left is the laser upgrade, fourth from the left is the glyph up upgrade which is that background circle uh, fifth is the sword i remember the sword that uh, activates uh, the flash of course this flash exactly alongside you of course then there is a bow looking thingy which uh, fires those arrows and there is also that galaxy looking thingy which sometimes does a ritual, a ritual circle that destroys all of the enemies inside and the rightmost are two swords one of them is the bigger swords and the second one are those daggers randomly spewing from my ass and these blue thingies as i already said are the comets which are one two three four five six seven eight nine from the left around the bow oh boy having every upgrade literally breaks the game it seems like oh and I unglitched the game so it is back to the normal speed. Or maybe it just twitches while dying on me. I don't even remember. I ported the recording from other PC. Uh, copy pasted. So I can edit it here and upload it. And of course Sword Art Online Fatal Bullets uh, gameplay will still be here. Of course it's every Sunday. But this, these videos will also be here. So I don't feel like a lazy bum that does nothing. And the top right corner you see the enemies killed. They all are dying off screen. And you could see that ritual circle to the left a few seconds ago. And the blast. These flashes are basically the character's uh, passive. I have three swords. What? 
the game just broke this much. I guess. Even the root on the top right corner is from a power up. It uh, randomly roots enemies with a set uh, proc chance. Percent of a random occurrence. Probability of random occurrence. Something like that. Pretty much the game itself is already broken as you can see. So let's skip right to the ending of the recording. And... A powerful creature approaches. It will die in one second. Go defeat the boss. And these exclamation marks are where boss throws his attacks at me. Of course he died off screen. And you can see already how much damage everything did. Total damage. DPS which is which means damage per second 917b Whoa, shit, obliteration 5.5 billion 140,000 Some are saying uh, letters which I think mean billion 5.5 billion one And we also unlocked a void look from that gameplay and heri other heritages like Mindslayer and Jackpot are remaining. So thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.